<laughs> let me tell you. Uh, let me tell you something about how important this election is where you live for this congressional. I've been in politics over 30 years, and had the honor and privilege of being the controller of Philadelphia for over 16. And every time the Congress of Mirtha came to Philadelphia, he would take the train and get off at 30th Street. And I had the honor and privilege of being his driver for as long as he was in Philadelphia, in the metropolitan area. Because that man brought home the goodies from Washington to make sure that this state survived. And I can't imagine, in my wildest dreams, some crazy kid Republican representing his congressional district. Am I right? Am I right? That's not going to happen. Not in my lifetime and not in yours. Now, if you fly into Philadelphia, fly over the Navy Yard. If it wasn't for Congress of Earth, that Navy Yard wouldn't have one ship in the face. And there's this huge crane that has a little light on top because it's so big that the planes have to know it's there. That's the Mirtha crane. There are thousands of men and women working in that Navy Yard because Congress of Mirtha gave me $15 million for that crane. There are men and women, real head of household jobs, not working in a nail salon where the Republicans count that as a real job. Real head of household jobs because that's what the Democratic Party is all about. That's what Congress of Mirtha is all about. God rest his soul. Make sure that Mark becomes your congressman. But you see, once somebody is elected, they don't vote just for you. They vote for me and my four children and my granddaughter, Naomi, who was two years old last summer. Just as much as they vote for you. Because in the end, all you and I have is you and I. That's all we have. We live or we die together. And we are in a dangerous time. Because as I have traveled this state, I am amazed by these Tea Party people. And I am not drinking tea for the rest of my life. <laughs> because they destroyed my whole belief in lifting. Because they don't know what it is to be an American citizen. They don't know what it is, but we do. We understand what it is to be an American citizen. They read these blogs, they put up signs with a picture of Obama with a Hitler mustache. What kind of a person puts up a sign of an African American with a Hitler mustache and actually thinks that makes sense? But they read these blogs for America, for Americans.com, and they think it's the Bible. Well, the good father knows it's not the Bible. But for some reason, they believe it's the Bible. And based on their definition, I'm not an American. Based on their definition, you're not an American. And I wish somebody would have told me I wasn't an American before I went away in the Army. I wish somebody would have told me that my father wasn't an American before he was wounded fighting the Japanese. Or my uncle was a Marine getting the Navy Cross in Korea. Or my grandfather when he came to this country and four weeks later ended up in the Army in the First World War. I wish they would have told me, but you see, my family are Americans. You are Americans. Those people have forgotten what it is to be an American. And we're going to teach them that on Tuesday. We're going to kick their butt in November. And we're going to give the people of this county and of this state a government they can be proud of because it's going to be a government that cares about their children and our way of life and getting real jobs for people so they can raise a family and care about the things that we care about. Am I right? Is that what we're going to do? Now, I've been out of politics for a couple years because sometimes you shouldn't run for office and be in office your whole life because it's not yours. Being an elected official is only a temporary job at the most. And your employers are the people that vote for you and the people that don't vote for you, the people that like you and the people that don't like you because that's what it is in a democracy. The greatest honor I had in my life next to the birth of my four children and my granddaughter, I raised my children myself is being elected to high office. Because it gives you that chance to make a material change in people's lives. And I missed it. I missed it a lot. When I was asked to give an opportunity to run for lieutenant governor, I said, give me back in the game. Because no matter how much money you make in life, there is nothing like waking up in the morning and knowing that you can make a change. That you can do something for the people that you care about, people that made you, 
people that gave you an opportunity to be the best that you can be. And that's you, even though many of you may not have known me before, we are part of who we are. When I was a kid, I thought I did all this myself. I became a CPA, an attorney, I wrote two books on taxes and fiscal responsibility, which are used in all the college universities, all that stuff. I thought I did all that myself. But the great thing about getting older is for some reason you get wiser. And you realize that the loans that you got to go to college and the public education you got as a child and the clean streets and the policeman driving by and the firefighter that saves your life and the life of your children was not you. It was your neighbors, your community, your county, your state, and your nation. And we all, in our own way, have a responsibility to give back. That's why you're here and not watching cable television. That's why you're here, because you care. Now, 90% of the people in this state and in this nation don't care. Republicans vote like it's a religion. They go to the polls early and vote for their people, regardless of who they are. You get five Democrats, you get 10 organizations, you get 15 endorsements, and the only one making money is the print. But we're the true democracy. We're the true democracy of what we stand for. Now, I've been honored and privileged to be endorsed by the AFL-CIO. I've been honored and privileged to be endorsed by the state party. And I'm endorsed from the United Mine Workers all the way to the electricians in Philadelphia, all the way to most of the counties in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And I'm honored and humbled by that because it is a reflection of 30 years of giving back. And I am easy to figure out. Easy to figure out. I'm a fiscal conservative and I'm 150% labor. And if somebody has a problem with that, they don't have to vote for me. Now they can vote May 20th, not May 18th. I'm not stupid. I'm not going to tell people that they have to vote. But that's who I am. I'm not running for two offices. I don't do this for a living. I have represented companies and saved over $500 million doing fiscal budgets for 25 years. This city has problems. And this state has problems. And it's my chance to give back. If the state had a surplus, you don't need someone like me. But I want to get in there and do what's right for us, not raise taxes, have a fiscally responsible government that reflects all of the dreams and hopes we all have and works with your county and local officials. Because we don't represent people individually, we represent people collectively. Now, it's always mentioned when I get on a plane that I'm from Philly. That's where my family ran out of money when they stuck into this country. They could have ran out of money in Johnstown. That's not where the train left them off. But the county lines weren't set up by God. And if they're not set up by God, they don't mean anything. Because if it helps you, it helps my granddaughter. There shouldn't be a child in this state that doesn't get a good education. There shouldn't be a child in this state that doesn't have health care. There shouldn't be a child in this state that is hungry. And everyone that has the ability to work and wants to work has to be given an opportunity to have a real, meaningful job so they can be get back and part of our community. Do not allow the Republicans to take back all that we have benefited from. They don't deserve it. They want power for power's sake. We want power to help all the people that we love in the greatest nation the world has ever seen. Kick their butt. Thank you.